Are you ready to jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock? It's time for the 10 best holiday games on PC. Mmm, festive coffees, mulled everything, chaotic shops. The holiday season is finally here. Christmas means stopping work and getting some quality gaming time under your belt. But what if you don't want to play the biggest releases of the year and want to get hands-on with something a little more themed to those fuzzy festive feels instead? Well, have we got your Christmas gaming all wrapped up. From festive frolics in Overcooked to less, uh, conventional holiday activities in this a cleanup detail, it's time for the 10 best Christmas games you can play on PC. Uh, that's slightly intriguing, but no. Come on, don't be such a Grinch. Ah, the holidays. A time for sharing. A time for giving. A time for quick, I need another flamethrower turkey, and where are those roast potatoes? Overcooked's festive seasoning DLC is a joy-filled gift of yuletide culinary chaos. From aforementioned turkeys to veritable bucket loads of Christmas soup, there are huge parts parties of exceptionally hungry revellers just beyond Overcooked's ever-ravenous serving station and they need their Christmas dinners now. How fast they get it, as usual, is up to you. And how fast you and your favourite humans can scream onion, potato or do the dishes at each other when the kitchen decides to rotate on its axis once again. Complete with Overcooked's traditional combo of fun and oh we can't be friends anymore, as well as new snowman and reindeer chefs, this will definitely make your holiday season the complete opposite of heavenly peace. Oh, St Nick, what were you thinking? Oh, this just wasn't what we meant when we asked you to get your sleigh on. Welcome to Viscera Cleanup Detail, Santa's Rampage, an experience guaranteed to fill you with the opposite of those festive fuzzy feelings. Instead of settling down to a roaring fire with a nice eggnog, here you're tasked with dumping the bodies of decapitated elves into said fire instead. As usual for the unusually satisfying cleaning sim, you must not only get rid of the bodies, but also mop up every last remain with your trusty mop and bucket. We wouldn't want to leave any evidence that would affect Christmas card sales, would we? Let's try not to think about what drove Santa to such depravity. Oh, no. Not the reindeer too. Run, Rudolph! Run! There's nothing like a Christmas ghost story to bring up those goosebumps on a cold night, is there? Well, Haunt the House Terror Town, Haunt the Holidays might not give you goosebumps, but it will certainly terrify the hapless shoppers at the North Pole department store. You can make sure that this lot of big spenders get the ghosts of Christmas past, present and future all at once, as your adorable creepy phantom haunts everything in sight. Nice coffee machine you've got here. It would be a shame if someone possessed it. What about this hat stand? Or even this terrifying jug? I said oat milk, not ghost milk. Anyway, the more distracted everyone becomes from their present buying, the more and more abilities unlock for each possessable item. That's definitely a word. Regardless, this all adds up to absolutely adorable whole whole horror. Perhaps Christmas for you doesn't involve family times around the tree. Maybe it's more about hurtling down a slope at great speed, and indeed avoiding trees at all costs. In which case, you need steep like you need wax on your board. This chilly open world is an absolute must play to escape the chaos of holiday shopping and the madness of festive parties. Whether you're strapping your board to your feet or getting some serious air on your wingsuit, Steep offers up a veritable freezing buffet of winter sports delights. Endless time trials and tricks await, and even exploring this freezing world is like a perfect snowy holiday without any of that getting wet feet or nasty frostbite. Not that I'm not endorsing going outside. Off you go. I promise. I'll, I'll wait. It's too cold, right? Told you. On to the next one. Ah, the holidays are a truly magical time indeed. We haven't had a new Harry Potter movie at Christmas for years. No, Fantastic Beasts doesn't really count. So there's still nothing more festive than discovering one of the early Potters on live TV and settling down with a mince pie. Or six. Lego Harry Potter years one through four encompasses those lovely, festive, nostalgic early Hogwarts days perfectly. Well, as lovely and nostalgic as being attacked by a noseless magical murderer on a yearly basis can be. 
Whether you're wandering the snowy streets of Hogsmeade with Ron and Hermione, playing a festive Quidditch match, or just settling down to some delicious food in the Great Hall. The true magic of Christmas is available in Lego form on your PC. Time for some mistletoe. Just mind the nargles, eh? <laughs> Because nothing says Christmas like stopping Killer Croc from gnawing on your skull by hammering one button. Batman Arkham Origins won't fill your heart with festive joy, but it is set at Christmas, and if you want to beat up some goons in the snow as distractions from family time, it's absolutely here for you. It's not quite as spectacular as its rocksteady counterparts, but the Dark Knight's adventures in Blackgate Prison will definitely while away some snowy days, and there's even some nice reminders that it's Christmas. The guards have their stockings all ready for old Saint Nick, and Alfred insists on reminding you that it's Christmas Eve, and constantly asks if you'd like Christmas dinner reheated. I bet that guy makes some mean roast potatoes. There's probably a joke I could make about this Christmas card missing a robin, but I would never stoop that low. Honest. I can't take that risk. Thanks to the Grubbins on Ice DLC, Costume Quest, like Henry Selick's The Nightmare Before Christmas, happily crosses the streams of pumpkins and snowflakes. Taking our original party of Halloween heroes into the snow, this DLC is now thankfully included as part of the main game on PC, so you don't even have to shell out for the privilege. As chilly add-ons go, Grubbins on Ice is a perfect example of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This continues Costume Quest's trademark blend of turn-based fighting and adorable costumes as Ren and Reynold attempt to once again bring peace and harmony in time for Christmas. There's only three new costumes, but you'll definitely want to try out the ridiculously adorable Yeti for size. Oh ho, this is a perfect time for me to direct you to a less adorable but still fun Yeti in our best scary games for people who don't like scary games feature. Stardew Valley is a game of feelings. I mean, it's also a game about farming, planting, naming chickens, making mayonnaise, crafting truffle oil and picking fruit, but yes, Feelings. The first time you wake up in winter in Stardew Valley, it's immediately Christmas. The bittersweet music just screams cold mornings, and the crunch of snow underfoot as you trudge out into the world to feed your chickens is an absolute holiday joy. Plus, you can even decorate your house suitably with a lovely tree, and the winter festival, complete with gifts, is a genuinely lovely end to the season. Be warned though, there's an odd sense of melancholy here as the trees lose their leaves, so perhaps play with the new Stardew Valley multiplayer update with some friends, so it's not just you and your horse waking up to the Junimos on Christmas morning. It's time to shoot some gingerbread men, starting with the gumdrop buttons. You monster. Saints Row 4's How the Saints Save Christmas DLC just doesn't mess around. Santa Claus now has been replaced with an evil claw. version of the Claws variety, and the Saints come, must come make things Santa right to make sure all the children can have the festive season they deserve, hence firing machine guns and flamethrowers at living baked goods and watching them burn. The 1950s Christmas here is just perfect, complete with delightful festive knitwear and carolers. There's even a trip to the North Pole with robotic reindeer on this quest to save Christmas once and for all. This probably isn't one to settle down to with your gran in the room after all that turkey, but there's a jingle hell of a good time to be had once everyone's gone home. A fleet of evil mechanical reindeer! The elves are meant to be happy making toys for Santa. They're meant to love every minute of even the idea that children will gain happiness from their creations. Not so the elves of the Escapists DLC, Santa's Sweatshop, where in true Prison Break style, you must make your way out of the awful happiness factory that Santa rules with an iron fist. This festive reskin of the Escapists is as darkly tasty as a blood orange flavoured candy cane, as you quest to find items to put on a Christmas tree to help you gain access to the outside world. This isn't just an escape that can happen overnight though, you'll have to keep an eye on the elf schedule, having breakfast at the right time, and even whiling away the hours on reindeer dropping duty. Yum. And hey, if you get bored, your little jingly character could always read a book on elf help. No? Okay, fine. And that's it! Merry Christmas! The 10 best festive games to play on PC this year. Let us know in the comments below if we've missed your favourite festive treat, drop us a like if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more videos just like this one. If you do already subscribe, remember to hit that notification bell to make sure you never miss another video, and if you do want more top 10s, hit the link that's on screen now.